What is up you guys? It's your boy Mr. Moves. Um, so I posted this video that you're seeing in the background to Twitter the other day and had a bunch of people asking how I made that effect with the Matrix software. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. If you need to learn the basics of how to use the software, there are three tutorials on the Matrix Keyboards website or on their YouTube video. On the website, it's under the FAQ section. Um, but if you need to know the basics, that's where to find it. I'm not going to worry about that today. I'm just going to show you how to make this effect. So let's get into it. When you have your Matrix software open, we're going to go to this LE Files tab up here at the top. And this is where you have your massive list of effects and where you can make new ones. So I'm going to delete the one I made the other day. And we're just going to create a new one right here. I'm just going to name it. You name it whatever you want. I'm just going to put a letter there and call it good. So now we're going to go in to edit it. So essentially what we're doing here is creating a frame by frame animation of what we want this lighting effect to be. Uh, which is really cool. This software is something I love about it. It's not super simple and user friendly. It can be if you're just using the presets, but it allows you to go a lot deeper than just using what they have available. You can create any animation you want. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm having these keys on the outside, which are my mint keycaps from Matrix Keyboards. Thank you very much. Um, but I'm going to have these lit up a solid color on every frame. So on the left here, down here, we have our frames, and on the right, we have our effects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that every frame has these keys a solid color. So on our effects, we'll choose those same keys in a monochrome. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see, but this is a monochrome effect. So we're going to make sure those same keys are selected, and then we're going to choose our color which in my case is a mint green, so slightly more saturated, looks good. Um, so now what we have to do is make sure that every frame we add after the fact has these frames or has these keys selected as well. So rather than creating a new frame and having to select them every time, we're going to use this key here, which is the duplicate key. And we're gonna duplicate the previous frame every time. So now we have our base which is our outside edges being a solid color now let's add the wave animation that i had going across here so we're just going to start by selecting these and then we're going to duplicate then we'll select the next set and then we'll duplicate then so on so forth and so on we'll add the space part of that one then we duplicate get rid of the ones we don't want and add the ones we do that looks good and we can do this and we just repeat the process as we're going across here you select the ones we don't want select the ones we do and you notice I'm hitting the duplicate key not the add key for every frame we're just duplicating the previous frame and editing editing it just like that we are cruising once you get used to using this software, it's actually really, really easy to make some really cool effects. And don't be afraid to use the existing effects as a framework for what you want to use. You can easily go in and edit any of the presets that they have available, which is a really cool feature. So you can just go in, duplicate an existing uh, effect that you like, and let's say edit the colors. I know I've done that for the pulse animation. I can show you that if you want. Um, but we're almost done. We're just selecting the last couple frames here. You know what, I think on this one we're gonna leave this. And then this one will just be done all the way. All right, so just like that, now we have our frame by frame animation. So now we need to add the lighting effect for those. So we're going to create a new, we're going to add a new effect and we're going to do RGB, which cycles through all the colors, starting at whatever color you give it. So I'm going to select all the keys that aren't those outside solid edges. And then I'm going to leave it starting at red because it really doesn't matter. Like I said, it's going to be cycling through all the colors. So just like that, we have our edges are going to be this. Our mid will be an RGB uh, cycle. And we can use this key here to test our animation. And boom, there we have it. 
So we're just going to click the check mark to save here. We've saved it. We can go back to our configurations tab. And then to apply it, we just hit the little yellow dots on any of these, select it, confirm, save, and apply. Or you can add it to any of your other layers by selecting the layer, scrolling down to it here, and using it like that. Just like that, we have it. Appreciate you guys watching. You can catch me on Twitch uh, at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Moves uh, weekdays at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard uh, or on Twitter at Mr. Moves underscore.